Objective 1.0, understand the influences between food choices and health. We are going to continue on with Objective 1.01, and you should be able to remember the influences on food choices. Your central question is, what are the internal and external influences on food choices? So I'm going to go over your key terms, and on your worksheet, you should be filling in those key terms. Also, I'll be going over how to do your flip charts. You'll be doing an internal flip chart, and you'll be doing an external flip chart. Cultural influences, the customs and beliefs of a racial, religious, or social group. Economic influences, food choices based on supply and demand, price and availability. Environmental influences, factors such as air, water, oil, mineral, plant, and animal sources. External influences, influences that come from outside of the individual or family. Individual influences, influences that are made by the influences such as physiological, psychological, situational, or social. Media influences, influences such as TV, print, and the internet. Psychological influences, influences such as appetite, emotions, and thoughts. Physiological influences, influences such as gender age, wellness, and the activity levels. Situational factors, stages of life, family schedules, finance resources, and knowledge. Technology influence, the development improving any methods of doing a task. Wellness the states of being and overall good health. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do your flip charts. You're gonna need three individual blank sheets, computer paper, as I have given to all of you guys. So three pieces of paper, and you're going to fold it in half, hot dog style. So you're gonna fold it long ways. And you're going to crease it all the way down and you're going to open it up. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut up the middle. Okay. Now that you have done that, you're going to stack each one on top of each, each other. So you're going to layer them together. So you have one on top of the other. Then you take the top of it and fold it down. You do your crease. And you take the stapler and you will staple it on both sides. Like so. Okay, now that you know how to do your flip chart, you need to do two of them. You need to do one on your in internal and your external. So this is going to be your internal one. You're going to write the internal influences. You're going to write the next one, which is physiological. And you're going to write the information on the inside and throw some pictures over there, make it colorful, design how you like. Then you're going to put the psychological information there your cultural, cultural influences, your situational influences, and then the last one is going to be your name, your individual name. Okay, now that you know how to do the internal one, which you can also call individual influences on food, you need to do an external one, which I've always already done for you. So your title will be here. You'll put media and then what is media? So television, print, and internet. You'll then do economic, which is your supply, demand, price, and food availability. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Your environment is going to be your eco factors, your climate issues, your land availability, your local agriculture. Next one is going to be your technology which is food processing, 
food preparation, your biotech. And then the last one is your name. Once you have completed those and they're very colorful and I like them, I want you to turn them in for a grade.